Greetings, everybody. Um, so I'm Carlos, and I'm with Heather Warburton of uh, Green Party, New Jersey. <laughs> and we are here. We're actually at the beginning of a possible pipeline, but it's wilderness zone right now. What it's actually the Wildlife Management. Wildlife Management. So it seems like a good place to do what we're about to do. Um, I don't, not many people know this. I didn't advertise it that much, but I actually am a candidate for governor. Um, a very radical candidate. I've, I have a lot of different policies that are pretty far out there, um, but I'm definitely a social justice and environmental justice, which I think both go together. I'm an advocate for those, and that's what I was generally fighting for with my campaign. Um, I am going to continue to fight for those things, but not running for governor of New Jersey. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to endorse Seth, who does also campaign for those things. He um, is at the forefront of social justice and environmental justice. Um, and here's the thing about politicians versus set. Politicians campaign until an election is over. Seth has campaigned long before he sought political office, and when this election's over, win or not, I'm pretty sure he's going to keep campaigning for uh, the environment. Um, so I just wanted to, at this time, say I'm endorsing Seth, um, but because I am the radical guy I am too, I'm actually endorsing two candidates. I originally imagined I'd endorse three candidates. So you might be wondering who the second candidate is and why I'm endorsing two and not one. Well, I believe, and the Green Party uh, across the country believes in this too, it's called instant run of voting. Instead of the one man, one vote, we get a lot more say and power and there's a lot more inclusivity of third parties and, and independents if we had an instant runoff voting system, which is a ranking system. So you could put your top person, Seth, and then you could put your bottom person, with that, you know, with that, no uh, Murphy, whoever. Um, so my second person is actually neither of them, neither of the major political parties would make it into this video as far as I'm concerned. But um, there is a lot of anarchist in me and I want to speak to some of that even though I was running for governor. I know there's some contradictions there. But the uh, vote for nobody. This is a flyer actually handed out and it has reasons of why you shouldn't vote or at least the presidential election. Um, there's plenty of people who say if you don't vote you can't complain but I believe the system it gets more and more legitimacy the more we do vote and give uh, our energy and time to vote. So I wanted to speak out to that. If you're feeling a little more anarchist, don't vote at all is my endorsement. If you're feeling like you want to support um, a really great guy who really has the best interests of New Jersey, vote for Seth Caperdale. I don't really think there's any other option. I don't know of any of the other candidates who really are going to follow through. He has a moratorium against pipelines and I just finished the walk which was all about pipelines and protecting the environment from cars as well. Um, I don't know if the message really got out there much, but these pipelines are going to destroy the future of New Jersey and definitely not to do that. So um, after all that talking, really all I'm saying is Seth Caperdale is the way to go. Um, I think that Seth is just going to be by far the one who would really change things for New Jersey and we need a lot of change. Don't listen to the propaganda out there saying that uh, Democrats are better than the Republicans or vice versa. They're all on the same corporate team and Seth is not. So, do you yeah, have any words? So, yeah, well I want to do, on behalf of the campaign, I wanted to thank you and on behalf of, course, of the Green yeah. Party um, for your endorsement and that, you know, to say that Seth is an advocate for the environment. That's one of the things that his uh, motto is the last or first. And in this country, we've put the environment last. So he wants to put the environment first. He wants to put the marginalized communities first. He wants to put anyone that society or capitalism or the government has put last. He wants to elevate them to a position of being first now. So that's why he has moratoriums on pipelines. Uh, you know, he uh, would appoint different pipelines commissioners than the ones currently in there, since their one job is to protect the pipelines they're not doing. Which they're not doing. <laughs> Pipelines are not protecting the region. Um, and that's their one job and they're not doing it. So Seth uh, will put in very different people with a very different frame of mind. And I just wanted to thank you again for the endorsement. Of course, of course. Yeah. I believe in you, Seth. <laughs>